Ultimately, the goal of any cybersecurity program is to manage and mitigate risk in order to maintain business resilience and trust. One of the essential ways of doing this is by monitoring for vulnerabilities in your IT estate and patching them as quickly as possible. This is vulnerability management, a find and fix mentality. But it's becoming almost impossible to operationalize this effectively, especially given more than 25,000 vulnerabilities were reported to NIST database last year. It's a Sisyphean task to close them all. So the real challenge teams have is where to start and what to address first based upon the biggest impact to your organization. And that's not where the challenges end. In our experience, organizations find they have 30% more exposed assets than they were tracking using traditional asset management tools. Security teams can only adequately protect what they're aware of this leaves many tempting vulnerabilities in plain sight of attackers to exploit before they're remediated. To make matters worse, patching a vulnerability typically takes between 60 to 150 days, while adversaries have dramatically cut the average time it takes them to exploit a vulnerability from three months to three days. This makes it abundantly clear why the find and fix approach alone is too slow. To get back on the front foot, organizations need to take a more proactive, offensive approach and build greater resilience. As one of the most promising offensive security technologies today, attack surface management can be the perfect complement to vulnerability management. A great ASM solution will allow you to mitigate the three core challenges I just mentioned. Firstly, where to start. Most vulnerability management tools rely on the standardized CVSS severity score, and we've seen plenty of examples of when a CVSS critical vulnerability is actually really low risk to an organization because it's on a system that's not connected to the internet or the vulnerable software isn't even in use. A leading ASM solution can provide the context that prioritizes vulnerabilities based on the risk they pose to your organization and the impact of them being exploited. Secondly, an effective ASM proactively scans your external attack surface, just like an attacker would, to reveal that 30% portion of unknown assets and pass them to your existing vulnerability management solution to scan and protect. And finally, ASM solutions are designed to identify risk even in the absence of a vulnerability. After all, attackers would likely prefer to take the easy route of an exposed login page with a default username and password rather than spending their time exploiting unpatched software. ASM broadens the scope from just vulnerabilities to include misconfigurations like this and other risk sources as well. So ultimately, ASM focuses on reducing the number of potential entry points for attackers and vulnerability management focuses on making those entry points harder to exploit. Combining the two leads to a much more proactive and comprehensive approach to reducing risk and increasing your resilience. To find out more, click the link to read our white paper on ASM and vulnerability management and subscribe to see more security videos from IBM.